Hi, welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today I want to talk about something very important for leadership, and that is setting boundaries. Please like, subscribe, share this amongst your teams. I want to give you a personal story as to what happened when I failed to set boundaries. I was leading my first team, and I thought what leadership was at that point was to be open and constantly available. I gave them my aim, my email, my phone number, and told them to contact me day or night. And what ended up happening is when I added that on top of school and on top of the other job that I had, I had absolutely zero time to myself. And as a result, my team suffered because they weren't able to reach out to me and they felt disconnected. My work suffered because I wasn't able to show up personally and also my school work suffered. I ended up with burnout and nobody won because I failed to set boundaries. Most places tell you to be more active and engaged with the people that you're with. However, it's only by setting boundaries will you be able to connect with your team and do work that has impact. How does setting boundaries help you in the long run? Setting boundaries help me in the long run by giving me space to focus on a specific thing at a specific time. One of the things I realized by focusing on a specific thing at a specific time is that I was able to bring my complete mind to bear on whatever project or task that I was working on. And as a side effect, I got better at it. What happens when you don't set boundaries? When you don't set boundaries, you set yourself up for a world of hurt. Sometimes that means you're not going to be able to focus on the thing that's in front of you. Sometimes that means you're going to miss meetings because you're double booked. And the ultimate, ultimate thing that that means is you're working towards burnout. What's burnout? Burnout is a psychological thing that happens to someone when they don't have the energy to recover. And what ends up happening to them is they cap their energies off. So now they're just kind of recycling the same bad energy over and over again. Why when you don't set boundaries, you end up leaving people confused? People end up confused because without clear boundaries, people assume all of your time is for them. And when they think all of your time is for them, when you're not there for them, it hurts two ways. One, for the task that they need to do, and two, for the emotion because they feel like they're being rejected. And I know if you don't set boundaries, you're not intending to making people feel rejected, but you are when you don't set them. In the lens of self-awareness, you want to be aware that boundaries aren't you telling no to spite someone else. Boundaries are you telling people no in order to facilitate what they want and accomplish your goals. Direction. You wanna do two things to communicate this to your team. One, you wanna have a conversation with your team around this idea of using your calendar and what it means to you. And the fact that you, when you have time blocked off that it should be respected. When people see your earnest and honest reaction to what you're trying to do and you're there to answer their questions to make sure that they feel they're being listened to, then it should be a lot easier to communicate what that is. And two, you need to set those dates in advance. When you set those dates in advance, you need to talk to the rest of your team. If you know that you need a vacation once every six months, try setting that vacation up about six months from now before everyone knows it and being very public with the day you set so they don't feel blindsided. So, one, you need to be self-aware of the power of rejection and your calendar. Two, you need to execute by putting things on your calendar and then talking to your team. And then you have to set direction by doing things in the future and then being public with that information. If you do all three of those things, you set boundaries, you'll find that you'll be able to be more present with your team because they'll feel trust with you and you'll feel trust with them. If you found this topic of leadership interesting, take a look in the description box and you'll find a couple of books that have helped my understanding of how to become a better leader and some of the pitfalls that I've found across the way.
especially when it comes to leadership, this is not a one-way conversation. I'm not just talking to you. And this isn't just a two-way conversation. You're not just talking to me and I'm talking to you. This is actually a conversation amongst the tribe of leaders. That can't start without you injecting some opinion or idea in the comment box below. Talk about some of your own personal stories and help engage all of us into learning how to be a better leader for you. I'm not the only teacher, I'm also a student.